Hi, welcome to this video. I'm going to do a review on this concealer. This is the Maybelline New York um, New Master New Master Conceal by Face Studio. It's a camouflaging concealer. I wore this for the first time yesterday and I wanted to tell you how it is. I'm going to grab my mirror here. Okay, so I'm going to start. I'm not going to use the primer, um, but I'm, um, let me zoom you in here. Oh, it's on zoom already. Okay, excuse my hair. Okay. This is in the shade light medium, and I'm just gonna. I'm using your. I'm gonna put this directly onto my eye area, like so. And. Oh my gosh. Where's the top? Where'd I put it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Excuse me, I just had to put that back on. Okay. So I'm going to dab some on this eye here. And I was looking for a concealer that would like really, really cover up my dark under eye circles. And I was hoping this one would do the job. So I'm going to try to cover up where I have some. Okay, should work fast because I want this to set too well. So I wanted something that would cover up my dark circles, um, but yesterday um, I still had to use a concealer on top and I used the L'Oreal True Match, um, the cool 123 concealer for shades 1, 2, 3. And It's a pretty nice concealer. I mean, I really do feel the difference when I wear it. And I like it, but still, like, these dark circles right there, I just couldn't cover them up. They were still showing through. And then I put my L'Oreal C123 concealer and it's the liquid one. And um, later on in the day, they were still showing through. So I was kind of bummed out about that. Um, I'm going to go on to foundation now. Um, I'm going to use this L'Oreal C3. I like this foundation because um, it has a touch of grapefruit in it. And even when I um, remove the foundation, I um, feel the essence of grapefruit on my skin and it feels really nice. So, I got this at my local drugstore, um, probably when it was on sale or maybe 40% off. I tried the new Infallible. Um, setting spray yesterday because they had a demo of it at another local drugstore I visited.
So I'm just gonna try to blend this foundation. I got um, a meditation CD yesterday. Um, I don't know if it's, um, well, basically it's an audio book. And I wanted to make a video sharing it. And I tried to do some uh, meditation with it yesterday and I've been wanting to incorporate more meditation in my life. So it's just a starter. Okay, so that's my foundation. And I guess I'll just kind of go light on the makeup today. Um, So this is how the concealer looks with foundation. Um, I'm still gonna use my C, my uh, L'Oreal concealer, just because I feel like it still didn't do the job of concealing my heavy, dark under eye circles. So, this is um, the L'Oreal New True Match Super Blendable Concealer. C123. It's the Cool Fair Light. And I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand here. I'm just going to use a little bit because I don't want um like concealer pigments to show. No. So anyways, the meditation um audio CD that I'm talking about. I found it on YouTube. So I put a link to that and I posted it on my Pinterest. Um, so if you want, you could check that out. And it's also on my Google, um, my Google blog. So you're welcome to check that out. There should be a link. Um, if you go into my YouTube channel, there should be um, a couple links to the book, and there should be a caption um, for uh, website links. You can click on one of those and find the, the audio book talking about. Okay. So I'm going to try, um, actually I'll just go ahead and use powder today just because. Let me grab my makeup setting spray. I'm going to use um, the e.l.f. Um, setting spray. Be right back. Sorry I didn't have it beforehand. But. Okay, I want to use this um, Maybelline Baby Lips Doctor Rescue. Um, um, chapstick here, lip balm, medicated lip balm. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and use the powder. This is what it looks like. This is a nice one. It makes me feel nice and refreshed. So 
I'm just using my e.l.f. powder brush. I'm just going to dab this on my T-zone and blend where I have, I mean, pat and then blend um, on my face. I went to Whole Foods yesterday because, well, I um, was at Barnes & Noble before and I read a book. I read, I picked up a book and I looked at it. It was about um, living sustainably and it had a section on makeup and I picked up another eco-friendly book and it had a section on makeup also and I just re recommended like all these like ingredients and I figured that those ingredients listed um, they weren't in the cosmetic products at Whole Foods so I always take a look and the prices were so high and I was just so upset and I saw natural ingredients but I was just kind of upset the prices were so high and I just Um, so yeah, I know that those makeup companies, um, that are more expensive are like the Go Green stuff and I wanted like drugstore products to be, um, like Go Green products just because, um, yeah, but I did actually go on the L'Oreal website, and I did find, or actually I have thought of some drugstore products that might um, have, have had the list of ingredients um, that were recommended to avoid. I actually did see some, I think, on some drugstore makeup products, so. That's just what I've been thinking about lately because I like to live eco-friendly and yeah. Um, next I'm going to go for some lip balm. I guess some things in life we can't give our all our 100% even though we want to so much but even when we can't afford to we can always do so in our heart I guess that's what's most important <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna go ahead with this covergirl um, perfect blend crayon I remember the first concealer, I mean, excuse me, the first eyeliners I'd used was this um, Perfect Blend in Charcoal by CoverGirl. It's like a light grayish color. Um, and then I used a Wet n Wild black eyeliner. Maybe I had a brown eyeliner, I don't know. Okay, I guess. Um, I'll go for well I guess I'll just um let me grab my stick blush. I'm going to use this um, Coral Sheen by Maybelline Master Studio. And I just like to blend it out onto my cheeks. Um. 
that's a heavy color. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to use my makeup setting spray. I'm a bit thirsty, so I'm going to have some coffee. I actually drank some green tea this morning. I had two um, bags of green tea in this cup I had with organic soy milk. I was trying to cut back on my coffee, but I just had to make myself a cup this morning because I wasn't um, awake enough. So I'm going to use this e.l.f. Uh, makeup mist and set with aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. This is a vegan product, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Okay, well, I tried to spray it in an X and a T, and it just <laughs> wouldn't work. So, how does this do? Oh my god, my eyeliner ran. Oh my god. <laughs> I have to let this dry before I can touch it up. Oh my god, it's like... <laughs> It like totally ran on me. What the heck? <laughs> this cannot happen to me in a makeup video. <sighs> okay. Wow, my makeup looks a little bit fresh. Now I have like, I look like... I guess that's good. I didn't put on my mascara. Um, I'm just gonna... Maybe I'll try to wipe it away. I can't believe that happened to me. So I'm gonna use my um green mascara. Um actually this is a black brown mascara. Yeah, black brown, it's a clump crusher by lash blast. It's water resistant. Okay, so I guess I'm done. I no wish my hair and everything around, but it did. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Um, so that was my <laughs> quick demo. I tried to do the best I can um, of the Maybelline New York Master Concealer. Overall, it's pretty nice, but um, it still doesn't cover up my dark under eye circles it might still it might cover yours but it didn't exactly do the job for me but it's a still it's still a great concealer um so yeah thanks for watching bye